Hello everyone, my name is Catalepsy, and I've been publicly uploading subliminal videos to YouTube for about two months now. And I recently just hit 100 subscribers, so I decided to go ahead and answer some questions about maybe some subliminals or maybe about myself too. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first question is from Mela, and actually she has a few questions. Um, she says, how long have you been making subliminals, and would you ever make a tutorial on how to? Um, I've been making subliminals for about two years now. Um, originally, I just made them for my friends and I, but then I thought, hey, maybe other people would like this too. So that's when I started publicly uploading them. Um, so would I ever make a tutorial on how to make your own subliminals? Yeah, for sure. I can see in the future probably making one. Um, I feel like it's really nice to make your own subliminals because first of all, you have, you, it comes from like your own trusting source, which is you. And, um, yeah, I'll probably do that in the near future sometime. So the next question is, what's the usual result time that you've seen and how do you speed up the subliminal process? Um, I'd say that the usual result time is about a few days to several weeks at most. There isn't really a magic trick to speed up the process. I'd say boosters and drinking plenty of water and getting those electrolytes in is a big pushing factor. It's also important to have an open mind and staying relaxed while you're listening. Alright, so the next question she asks is, do you have any hobbies, and if so, what? Um, <laughs> I think everybody has their own hobbies, so, like, honestly, I'm really into music. I've been playing the piano since I was a kid, and, um, I also really like makeup. Like, I'll just sit in my room and I'll watch makeup videos, like, just tutorials. I won't even do it for, like, a good four hours before getting up. And then I can't even do my own makeup that well, but you know, yeah. All right, so the next question she had asked was, do you recommend any other subliminal channels? And my answer to that is yes. Um, some of my favorite subliminal channels that I can just name off the top of my head would be peachymilk.mp4, Miss Subliminals, Slay Subliminals. Slay Subliminals is really good. I, I use their subliminals a lot. Um, Rain Subliminals. Soko sublimin Subliminals. Um, Boom Baby Subliminals. And uh, those are the ones I can name off the top of my head. But I'll go ahead and like put a list down. I'll like on the screen, you know, editing magic. Okay, and then the next comment is from Ryan, and she says, Ooh, I love the music. Since you're doing a Q&A, what inspired you to start making subliminals? What's your favorite color, and what's your favorite song? Um, what originally inspired me to start making subliminals is that I was having a really hard time in my life, and I wanted, I was in, like, a very negative environment, and I wanted to find a way to, like, lighten like, I don't know, make it more positive. And so I discovered subliminals, and so I started making my own, and they seemed to work, like, effective for me. And then my friends, I started, like, showing them to my friends, and then they started using my supplementals, and, yeah, it just led to that whole process. Um, my favorite color is actually purple. Uh, it, I don't know if it's obvious or not, but I've just always loved the color purple, and it's just really pretty, like, and flowers, too. I just see it, and I'm just like, hello. <laughs> um, my favorite song, I actually just used it in one of my recent videos. It was my Wish Subliminal. It's the Rainbow Connection from the Muppets, or, like, Kermit the Frog, and I just really like it because it really talks about wishes and hopes and dreams coming true, and, like, just what started it all, isn't it? It's just all weird, you know? 
So that's where that came from. <laughs> Thanks for uh, the question. <laughs>